Storm Team Meteorologist Dan Bickford with your forecast first. Well, the good news is our afternoon is going to be a lot quieter. In fact, live Doppler pretty quiet, just a couple sprinkles out there. Certainly a lot of cloud cover. The heavy rain from last night and this morning has pushed well to our north and east. And for the most part, so is the wintry precipitation. We may see a couple snow showers get back into the North Carolina mountains down the road, though. We're in the lower 40s right now, so safely above freezing. Your next seven hours look like this in the upstate. Not much movement on the temperatures. We'll stay in the low to mid 40s, look for lots of clouds. Similar story in the mountains where we may see a stray rain shower or snowflake in the higher elevations overnight won't amount to a whole lot but we do get clearing later tonight sunshine returns for tomorrow and the weekend that's good news and we're going to warm up too we'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes sunshine sunshine that's a weird what word is isn't it what, what is that <laughs> what does that look like yeah and that may come with some 60 degree high temperatures for saturday and sunday as wow. well what a change we'll yeah. take that yeah. thank you dan now we have team coverage of the effects of the storm. Seven News reporter Kirsten Glavin is in Greenville County where the flooding has caused serious problems. We'll get to her in a minute, but first let's start with Emily Henning who has the latest on the traffic conditions out there. Emily? Yeah, you know, so this morning was crazy busy out there on the roads. A lot of slick roads. Uh, what I'm still following, though, is still some closures, still some areas of flooding and kind of some cleanup from debris out there and some trees that were down from earlier. So here's what's going on right now. Edwards Mill Road is blocked by Woodburn Drive. 276 right around Furman, we're hearing, is blocked in both directions, seeing a lot of traffic heading that way. Ferris Road in Greenville closed by Argonne Drive. Same goes for Bruce Road by Data Stream Plaza in Greenville. And finally, this was from a crash on 385 southbound, hearing the entry ramp from 85 northbound hearing that entry ramp is closed let's go ahead and get a peek at 85 and 35 our traffic cam there looking around the gateway project to see what's going on it does look like traffic is moving by well here uh, right now the interstates are looking pretty good all right thanks emily in greenville the reedy river surged to flood levels after all the rain overnight and many roads are closed across the upstate some have been washed away by the high water seven news is kirsten glavin live near greenville's Gant community with more. Hi, Kristen. Kirsten. Hey, that's right. How are you doing? So we're out here right now where the water has completely taken out almost entirely this piece of road here. You can see the asphalt is just hanging on by a thread. This is off I-85 off of Bruce Road. Very scary moments here for people who were coming to work at Wilson's Trucking Company today. You can see a fiber line is broken in, pieces of asphalt falling down, fence falling in here. Now we're told that this is the only way in or out of the tru trucking company parking lot. DOT workers were out here all morning. The fire department was out here as well looking at this. And we're told because this is a private driveway, it is up to the property owner to pay for this and fix it. Luckily, no injuries reported here, so that is a good thing. But there is water rushing all the way through under here from what was a creek taking out almost this entire roadway here. Again, a private driveway at this point. So what we've seen so far is a lot of employees come by and try and get in, get turned around and they've actually been walking up here up this hill you can see and cut a hole through the fence up there just to get into their parking lot. So we're going to continue to watch this as uh, situations like this to con continue to develop all morning because of the heavy rain we've had here and the saturated land we've seen all throughout Greenville County. For now, we're live in Greenville. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Kirsten, thank you. On Lois Avenue in Greenville, there was some serious flooding. Look at this video. You can see a car partially submerged by floodwaters. And it wasn't just Greenville County affected. Take a look at this video from Spring Street in West Pelzer where you can see two people sitting on the roof of that car waiting to be rescued. Emergency crews work to get them to safety. We are waiting to learn their conditions. And new at noon, weather may have played a role in the death of a driver in the 18-wheeler who was killed in the upstate. The Highway Patrol says the tractor trailer ran into a tree that was down on Highway 56 less than two miles from Clinton. Just after four this morning, the semi ran off the highway, hit a guardrail. We don't know the victim's name, but we do know the driver was wearing a seatbelt. More trees came down across the upstate because of the storm. This video from Taylor's of a tree down on Edwards Mill Road near Woodburn Road. At last check, it was still closed, so crews could clear things up. And that wasn't the only tree that was down. Poinsett Highway was blocked because of a large tree that fell across all four lanes of the highway this morning. DOT used front end loaders to push the debris to the side of the road. Power crews working to replace a pole that snapped in the wind. 
Duncan Fire Chief Russell Watson said it caused a bit of a traffic problem. The rain had obviously been a problem for a couple of days, and uh, we wasn't expecting the wind, and which brought the trees down, and uh, we've, we've had a major traffic problem. And again, we know 176 near Furman University is closed while crews are working. Well, talking about power lines, more than 12,000 customers are still without power in our area. Yeah, here's a look at the numbers. Duke Energy reports that there are nearly 11,000 people without power in Greenville County, just over 400 in each Spartanburg and Anderson counties, and about 1,000 without power in Buncombe County. Many schools were put to two-hour delays this morning, including Buncombe, Henderson, and Transylvania County schools in western North Carolina. Greenville County Schools also says that it has canceled or rescheduled all field trips headed north for the rest of the day. And it's not just school activities that see changes. The vigil organized by Inman Police for the Homeless has now been moved inside because of the weather. The event was supposed to be at Barnett Park. Now it'll be at Church Builders Tabernacle in Fremont Avenue in Spartanburg. That starts at 5. More than 300 coats and 500 blankets were donated. A 